All right, everyone. So today morning, sitting here waiting for the kids to wake up, drinking some coffee. So we're working on the maintenance platform for the diesel facility. So I thought I'd bring you along to do a little quick video here on how this is done. So not too many parts here, but it's kind of a tedious process. And some of the things that you're gonna need, you need some CA glue, you need some white tacky glue. I'm assuming you're gonna need a hobby knife. I have some accelerator as well for the CA glue. I'm also gonna need some paint. So we're gonna need an aluminum paint, like an aluminum color, I'm gonna use like a gray with a little bit of metallic <clears throat> and your khaki camo that we use for concrete all the time. And probably some sandpaper also. That's what we need. We also might need a really small drill bits, so like hobby drill bits, like zero, like 0 0.03 fourths inch drill bits because you've got to hollow out some of the holes in these pieces and I've already broken one. So, whoopsies. We'll try to make that, hide that in the back so no one sees it. Uh, so that's what we're gonna do. The first thing that we're gonna do is start painting some, some of the parts. So the step platforms are clear plastic as are the steps themselves. These need to be painted a khaki camo. These need to be assembled like this, it's four pieces. Now, that one's broken, as you can see, I've CA'd it back. That's, I'm just gonna snap that off because that looks like garbage. These need to be painted in like an aluminum color. So I've got a gray testers outside in the garage, so I'm gonna hit it with that. So I'm gonna go ahead and assemble the other one. And they come in just pieces like this, and then you get two end pieces, and they just CA together. It's pretty straightforward. So I'm gonna glue this up. Actually, before I glue it up, I'm gonna see if I have a drill bit to drill out those holes a little bit because that's what messed me up on the last one. Then I'm gonna spray paint them. The steps are gonna get a camo concrete spray paint as is, or as are these base pieces. So these are gonna be the platform. These platforms were made of cast concrete, so these need to be concrete colored also. So we're gonna do that. And then we'll dive into the manual and I'll show you kind of where I'm at since I'm kind of going out of order. And we'll go from there. So I've got the decking painted now and the H brackets are starting to go in place. So you can paint this base if you're gonna use this base. Like let's say you're gonna move this platform around on your layout, this would be ideal. Now the MDF base, <laughs> the MDF base in the diesel shed has these holes drilled. So I'm not gluing these in. You're gonna help me buddy? All right, so my helper's coming over. So we're not gonna glue these down. We're just gonna set them in place. Now, uh, the I way can't. these work, you gonna get up? Yeah. I can't. This is real life, folks. Come on, Miles. So, these pieces here, you've got a, you'll see that little square cut on the end is a half cut. Okay. And then, that's a half cut there. Okay. If we flip it over, yeah. that's a full cut squared. So, what we're gonna do is that's gonna go on the end. Okay. Like this, and we're gonna kind of angle that in. I'm doing this with one hand because oh, I'm holding my phone. Hi, hi, you want to do it? Yeah, that's right, buddy. And my helper's not helping me too much. So we're gonna put this in, and then this will slide down into place. Once we dry fit all these, we'll add some white tacky and then glue. I can't squeeze. Not right now. Why? Because I'm working on this, and you were watching something. White tacky glue on this I beam. We'll put some tape on to hold everything together, and then let that dry. We'll also weight it down. Yeah, that's gonna go right there, bud, thank you. We'll also weight it in place and let that dry, um, and then begin working on some other pieces. Well, that's just, I'm using that to cut, in case I need to cut anything. So I don't use the countertop. This? Yeah. All right, so Miles and I are gonna keep working on this, and the next thing you'll see, we'll probably have this glued into place, and then we'll start fishing in some of the piano wire. We also will probably have to paint the styrene channel. So what I'm showing you here is just gluing the top of this platform down. So I'm just gonna add a couple dollops of the white tacky glue down onto these H beams. And I'm just gonna spread it out with my finger just to get a more of an even coating. And then we're gonna lay the, the wood on top and we'll weight it down. So now what we've done, we've got the top here is glued down. We've taped it together just to pull the joints together and then I've got my modeling weight blocks here. So these are perfect square blocks. If you're building anything, you definitely need these in modeling. So I bought these when I did my first Altoona Model Works project and they've come in handy ever since. So they're just weighting it down so the white glue dries. 
I'm being requested for more chocolate milk now, so I gotta go do that. So I'll let these dry, I'll get more chocolate milk for my, uh, my partner here. And then the next thing that we're gonna do is gonna be to install the railing. So we'll do that. What I'm doing now is drilling out the holes in the H brackets. Now, I have a small drill bit here. You're gonna need these very small drill bits to do this. I'm just clearing out any burrs that are in those holes so the piano wire will fish smoothly. So through. doing the railing is a little bit difficult because you're cutting this piano wire and then that's gonna dull it down and actually can flatten out part of that wire. So it's really hard to fish it through those holes. So what we're gonna do is we've got them uh, two different sections here, the top rail and middle rail cut to length. What I'm gonna do is take it out here to my shop. I've got my belt sander. I don't have a grinder. That would be ideal for this, but I do have a high grit sandpaper on my belt sander that's pretty well worn down. So I'm not terribly concerned about using some metal on this. And we're gonna just kind of point one end of these to a, like a sharp point. Then we'll actually dull that down so it's not gonna stab anybody, but that's gonna allow us to fish it through the holes of those H brackets a lot easier. Now you wanna cut these to be about a 16th inch longer than they need to be. So that way when you put your chain on your open sections, it's got something that you can glue it to. So I'm gonna go ahead and sand these down to a nice point. Right now you can see, probably can't see because it's not gonna focus because it's focused on my head, that they're pretty dull. So we're gonna sharpen them up and then we'll fish them through. Now we've got the styrene trim here. Now these pieces are grooved. Let me get the focus a little bit. You can kind of see it barely. Anyway, that's gonna be on the outside. The flat part's gonna go against the inside. We're gonna hit these with another aluminum color. So what I'm using here is just a gloss metallic silver. And then we'll weather this once everything's put together so it'll dull it down a little bit. So we're gonna hit these with that, making sure we get the ends as well. That's really not focused, I apologize. Getting the ends of where the joints are so it covers those up. And I've already got them cut to size for the most part, so we should be good. So I'm gonna hit these, let them dry, and then we'll put them on. So the here are the steps. What we're doing is taking the piano wire and you're bending it and fishing it through the holes. You do have to re-drill, so I've just got a little <laughs> hand drill there. My, my, my partner in crime is, we're struggling now. He hasn't gotten his coffee break, apparently. So just fishing them through, it doesn't have to be perfect. As I you can will see. help you. All right, now you're gonna help me? Yeah. Okay. Um, so anyway, it doesn't have to be perfect. I have to trim these ends up a little bit. So I'm just taking my wire cutters here to bend the ends and kind of get them into, into those Ooh, holes. This. this one over here needs to be shortened up a little bit. But uh, then once those are in, then we've got the steps. We're gonna glue those in place. And then those will just go on the very ends of the platform there. Glue. Right, so the steps are glued in place now. Now what we're gonna do is the chain. So you've got this little chain here and we extended these out just about a 16th of an inch or so. So we have an area to glue this onto. So I'm just gonna put a little dot of CA on there and then we'll put the chain on, cut it, and then get it to the other side. And we'll do that for all of our openings. So we've got three on each side. Should have enough chain to make that work. If not, I actually have extra downstairs that I purchased from another hobby shop not too long ago just to have in case I needed it. So we should be okay. Once that's done, then for the most part, this is complete. We just need to weather it. We need to pop it off this base and add it to the base of the diesel shed. So here's the platform complete. We've got chains up. We've got our steps and everything ready to go. So now I have to carefully remove it from this base and put it in the base that's in on the MDF that is the base for the diesel shed itself. This might require me to pull this off now. This comes out, so you can see the holes down there for it. So I might be able to snake it through and then come in from above to put it in place. Got to move these diesels out of the way. So I'm going to try that and I'll show you what it looks like when it's all said and done. That was a fail. That was a fail. So we're going to take the whole thing off and do this the right way. All right, so that is in place now. You don't have the roof on. Let me put that on and you'll see it'll darken up quite a bit. In there, but we do have the lights on. 
That is a really nice addition to this this diesel facility. Now this comes with the kit. So it's, you know, you buy the diesel shed, you do get this platform also. Let me go from the other doors there and we'll see just how close this platform is to the engines. So you can just see how much room it does take up and it really gives you a prototypical feel. Let me spin around. So here's looking in on the side there, you can see that ES44, there's not much space between that diesel and that platform. So that really does give you a real life feel for sure. Excuse the children running around upstairs. So really nice kit. This looks fantastic. I just need to get some workers. Might run up to the hobby shop today. See if I can find any to put up on that platform. And just some equipment, some boxes, things like that. That we might see up there. That looks really, really good though. An easy build, I'd say. I mean, I probably put that together. Not including paint drying time, about an hour. Not too bad. So that's that. Another quick build here on Chris's Strange and Things. I hope you made it this far. If you are looking at adding this kit to your layout, that platform comes with it. That's my understanding. I'm almost positive it does. So you can add that to just the details of the inside of this thing. It's fantastic. We have one more piece that we have to do, which is going to be the machine shop on the side. Hopefully we'll get to that soon. But thank you so much for tuning in. Hit that like button. Appreciate you guys watching this video uh, and getting to this point. Have a good day.